for God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. God bless you all, and may God defend our freedom. Nobody believes we're going to take down, I was, going to, I was talking about taking down Putin. Nobody believes that. The President, the White House, uh, made the point last night that, quite simply, uh, President Putin cannot be empowered. As you know, and as you've heard us say repeatedly, we do not have a strategy of regime change in Russia or anywhere else for that matter. Today, Russia has strangled democracy, has sought to do so elsewhere, not only in his homeland. Under false claims of ethnic solidarity, it has invalidated neighboring nations. Putin has the gall to say he's denazifying Ukraine. It's a lie. It's just cynical. He knows that. And it's also obscene. We must commit now to be in this fight for the long haul. We must remain unified today and tomorrow and the day after, and for the years and decades to come. It will not be easy. There will be cost, but it's a price we have to pay. A dictator bent on rebuilding an empire will never erase a people's love for liberty. Brutality will never grind down their will to be free. Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia, for free people refused to live in a world of hopelessness and darkness. We will have a different future, a brighter future, rooted in democracy and principles, hope and light, of decency and dignity, of freedom and possibilities. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. Time and again, we offered real diplomacy and concrete proposals to strengthen European security, enhance transparency, build confidence on all sides. But Putin and Russia meant each of the proposals with disinterest in any negotiation, with lies and ultimatums. Russia was bent on violence from the start. I know not all of you believed me and us when we kept saying, they are going to cross the border. They are going to attack. Repeatedly, he asserted we had no interest in war, guaranteed he would not move. Repeatedly saying he would not invade Ukraine. Repeatedly saying Russian troops along the border were there for training, all 180,000 of them. There's simply no justification or provocation And also, are you concerned about propaganda use of those remarks by the Russians? No and no. Tell me why. You have so much experience. You are the leader of this country. Because it's ridiculous. Nobody believes we're going to take down. I was, going to, I was talking about taking down Putin. Nobody believes that.